Hello guys, so in this quick video, I'm going to show you an easy workflow on how you can humanize your AI generated content. Suppose you are always conscious if your content has you detected as AI written content. Although nowadays on the internet, that is fine as long as you are creating quality content with the right keywords and good structure of SEO friendly article. Now, if you want to humanize some parts of your AI content here, we are using zero GPT at the moment. Even some expert channels here recommending zero GPT. One example is if you're watching words at scale, Vlad, that guy is using this zero GPT. He is trusting this AI detector a lot. And the good thing here is it's free. So in our case, what we need to do if we want to create an article, we can use any free uh, large language model that we are familiar. Let's say, for example, I'm going to use Claude here so we can prompt here to write an article related to our keyword now before using claude i'm going to show you an easy process so if you are going your keyword research let's say our main phrase here is koi fish and here we want to take a look at we had to of the article we are going to write let's say for example how long do koi fish live so we copy this i'm gonna write this using article ai generator and we will do the same process so i'm going to show you easy way so here uh, you can either use gpt4 or mini or claude so for now let's choose this and let's choose a short version so we are able to generate this faster and let's generate the article right here and you see right here our article has been completed so if we take a look at this article and we scroll down so here our seo friendly and nicely structured article right here talking about how long do koi fish live you have the shortcut here to humanize this article just for 10 credits don't be uh, intimidated by the number of credits it's actually very cheap if you compare it to a lot of humanizer out there but if you don't want to spend your credits humanizing this so the first step that we have to do is copy these all of this and right click go to zero gp basic right there so the only thing here in zero GP is it not it's not taking the formatting so let's detect the AI content and you see right here it is expected it's the AI content because we are using GPT 4.0 mini as a writer engine but not totally so 10% or uh, is human written and 90% have been detected as you in AI so you don't have to actually do it 100% you can rank with AI contents as long as it is structured pretty well so the easy steps that you can do here you copy because what's good about zero GPT? It highlights those paragraphs that have AI content. So let's say we want to rewrite these two paragraphs right here. So you go to AI bypass filter, you copy that and process AI bypass. And here, this is the rewritten content. And this is the original text that we added. So let's copy this and head over again to zero GPT. Let's replace these things that we have modified and see whether we can reduce some of the AI contents right here. So you paste that and click on detect. See right here. So the second paragraph here itself, I totally remove the AI generated content. So you can do again, the same process because there's no guarantee that you can have same results every time. So you copy this, let's see if it will relax, rewrite better uh, re re rephrased content to remove most of the AI contents right here. So you can see right here, it, I think it generated a different version. So now let's go back and replace this. So this is only if you are really uh, conscious of having AI contents can do this process. But I'm going to show you a shortcut by just doing that humanized AI content, clicking that one button and automatically reduce significant number of AI contents. So you see right here, we are now reducing most of the AI content. So the first part here, AI content is almost gone. And you can just work on the rest. So you don't have to, again, do the sentence by sentence, paragraph by paragraph, or word by word to have it a uh, human written. So just look for those significant, uh, important parts of your article that you want to humanize. So let's say, for example, this one. Let's reduce this once more. And you scroll down here is the written version. So let's see how this is. Let's find the long let's find this part of the uh, article right here and replace that with this rewritten content let's detect it now look at that we are now down to 66.61 the ai content detected and we scroll down so here you just remove this one here we totally re replace the uh is this the correct uh, let me just double check koi fish are able to leave or koi fish are able to leave extended period so that's the uh, replacement of this entire paragraph right here so you can do that for the rest until you reach your uh, expected amount of just a, a, a human written. But the shortcut that you can do here, if you have 
generated this using article AI generator, you can click this single button right here. Yeah, I'm not saying that it will remove 100% of AI contents, but it will greatly reduce the AI contents in your article if you want to make your process uh, really quickly. So let's do that now. And you see right here, our content has been humanized. Hopefully most of the AI contents here have been reduced. Let's have a look. And there you go. We just have the 39.39, AI GPT generated, but most of the 65% of our, our article content have been humanized. And you can just repeat the same process as I mentioned to you. Let's say, for example, you want to completely replace this with uh, human written content. So you do that using, again, this AI bypass filter. So you process this and this one here, just replace your paragraph. Now let's detect it again. So now we're down 10%. Now we're getting 25.84 human written content. It just detected 25% of your content is AI. So I think uh, that's about it, guys. I'm telling you guys, you don't need to uh, you know, really issues about the AI contents in your article as long as it's for written. Uh, I don't recommend it humanizing also using uh, this because, of course, you are our uh, you want to preserve your credits creating article but if you really want to make your process faster so you can do that uh, one click button but it's not recommended or I'm, I'm not saying it's not recommended it's not mandatory so it's up to you guys whether you want your article to be humanized that quick or you can do the manual process just like what i show you and uh, i think uh, that's about it guys and if you learned something from uh, this guide uh, please don't forget to leave a like thank you and see you in the next one